Hello, my name is Alex, and in this video, we're going to be making a door frame and a door. And the goal of this video is to make uh, realistic tiles which will be reusable uh, within your project, meaning that the actual sizes of the tiles that we're going to be making are going to be aligned with reality. Now, to begin with, let's go to Add, and then let's go to Mesh, and then select the cube object which will generate a cube on the scene and then make sure to press N on your keyboard to bring out this panel and in here uh, we will be actually modifying the dimensions and first of all we want to make a wall so let's rename this object and let's rename it as wall and now we want to give it the dimensions of a, a realistic wall so first of all, uh, we will modify the Z axis, which is the height of this object. And in this case, we will set it to 2.44, actually to 2.45 meters, uh, which is the height of a realistic wall in an interior. And then we will set the width of this object, which is the X axis. Uh, actually, it can be interchangeable. Let's set it on the Y axis. And let's set this uh, to be around 1.25 meters in width. And then the thickness is going to be 0.15 uh, meters. And as you can see, now we have a wall tile. Now, from here, we want to make an actual door frame. And to do that, we will select the object in question and we will press on Ctrl and then C followed by Ctrl V on the keyboard and this will make a duplicate of this object so let's rename this to door frame and now we need to scale this object down we need to change the dimensions of this object to match a door frame now the size of a door is around 90 centimeters in width and 2 meters in height so we will be adding a few centimeters to those measurements to ensure that the door frame is bigger than the door. And in this case, we will set the height to 2.1 meters and we will be setting the width to 1.1 meters. And then uh, we want to set the thickness to 0.25. And the last thing we want to do is to enable snapping up here make sure that we're in edge mode and then drag the blue arrow downwards like this and having that done as you can see now we have a door frame now before we proceed with the door we want to cut out the door frame from the wall and to do that just make a duplicate of the door frame like before disable the original object in the hierarchy here and then press on the object once again then press tab to enter edit mode and then make sure that you're in face selection mode up here go to the bottom face and then just drag it down make sure you to disable snapping and just drag it down like this so basically we need to ensure that the lower face of our door frame is lower than the lower face of our wall and now all you want to do is exit edit mode then you want to select the wall and then go to the modifiers here and click on this icon and then go ahead and select boolean here now we can select the pick tool so click on this icon and then click on your door frame object like this and now just click on this arrow here and then click apply and now you can go ahead and delete the door frame object and as you can see we have a perfect cutout Having that said, we can re-enable our door frame object uh, from the inspector. And as you can see now, uh, we have uh, the wall with our door frame. And now we want to create our actual door. And to do that, we will duplicate the door frame like before. And we will rename this to door like this. And having that done, we want to scale the new object down as well. So we will change the dimensions here to two meters. So we'll, we'll just set this to two meters. And then on the Y axis, we will set this to 90 centimeters. And when it comes to the thickness, we want it to be 0.15 like before. 
Now enable snapping again and just drag the blue arrow down like this. And as you can see, our door is ready. And the last thing to do is to duplicate this object, disable the original object, and we can use the scale tool again to make the door wider. So we're increasing the thickness and then we'll go into edit mode again, select the lower face, disable snapping, and then just drag this down. And this is to ensure that the cut is actually easy to make. So now you can exit the edit mode by pressing tab again. We will click on the door frame and just like before, we will add a Boolean modifier. We'll click on the pick tool, we'll pick the object in question. So we will click the uh, extruded door object and then we'll just click apply. And now we can actually go ahead and delete the door object and we can re-enable the door. So as you can see now, we have a wall, a door frame and a door. And the last thing to do is to set the actual origin to uh, one of the edges. Because right now, if we go into rotate mode and we rotate the door, as you can see, it does not behave like a door. So what you want to do is press tab again to go into edit mode, select one of the edges, select one of these edges. So the edge you want to be uh, actually used uh, to rotate the door around. Actually, what we can do is um, we can even select both of these edges to have our origin at some middle point, but then you will have to add hinges to your door, etc. So for now, for the sake of simplicity, just click on one of these edges. And then you want to click on shift, hold shift and then S and then select uh, this option cursor to selected and this will set the world cursor to the selected edge. Then pre press tab to exit the edit mode and then just right click and go to set origin, origin to 3D cursor and, the, and now we're ready to go. So basically now if you rotate your object as you can see here everything's pretty much fine, everything works well. In fact, our door is a little bit too thick in this case, so we can just change the dimensions and set it to 0.1 meters maybe. And then we can just try this again. Let's see. As you can see, this is far more realistic, but then again, we can just make it even thinner, maybe 1.06. And as you can see, everything works perfectly well. We have a functioning door uh, of realistic proportions. So I do hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.